going to change the schedule, but John was not aware of this. 43 years ago, a few students gathered in Lancaster, Pennsylvania to begin their formal theological education. It was at the height of the Vietnam War protest movement, which many of the faculty at Lancaster were helping to lead. Many of us wondered why anyone who claimed to be seeking ordained ministerial standing would consider military chaplaincy. We did not understand how they could be compatible. In the 40 years since John has been ordained, he has been a sometimes lone, but always strong voice in promoting the values of acceptance for GLBT people in the military, and has been a strong advocate for the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I'd personally like to thank John Gunlack for all the support and ministry he offered to me uh, while, I've been, while I was deployed and for the ministry he offers to all the chaplains. Uh, John does a, did a tremendous job in keeping tabs and trying to reach out to our families, but also making sure that his chaplains, your chaplains, were taking care of themselves. Um, had a couple, lost a couple soldiers downrange, and one of the things that John always reminded me of is the fact that I couldn't take care of others if I didn't first take care of myself. So thank you, John, for the ministry that you've offered us, uh, for making us uh, more visible uh, at synods and at other uh, denominational meetings and always being that voice for us. You are going to be receiving today the first UCC Chaplaincy Advocacy Award here and after to be known as the John Gunlack Award. Wow.